Hello, I'm Dr. Michael Clapper. And having integrity as a physician and as a scientist requires that we be willing to take all the beliefs we have, no matter how cherished they might be, no matter how logical they might seem, and hold them up against the light of science as it uncovers new knowledge. And if the old beliefs we have are in conflict with the new understandings that science uncovers, then those old beliefs really have to be left behind. And my thinking about a particular dietary supplement uh, has undergone such an evolution lately, and I'd like to share that change with you. And I'm speaking about a long-chain omega-3 fatty acid, known by the initials DHA, standing for docosahexaenoic acid. And this is a long-chain fat that the body uh, synthesizes from shorter chain omega-3 fats uh, called alpha-linolenic acid found in walnuts, flaxseed, chia seeds, and tiny amounts in dark green leafy vegetables. Now, we are capable of making this by ourselves, but the most common source that most North Americans get their DHA from is from fish, not because fish make DHA, but because they're swimming in the ocean all day swallowing algae cells, and it's the algae that really make the DHA and winds up in, in the fish's flesh. And because vegans don't eat fish, as the years go by, uh, vegans can wind up with lowish levels of DHA. And because so much DHA is used by the brain, there's been concern that these lower levels of DHA in the brain uh, might predispose vegans to uh, decrease in cognition function and even downright dementia. Well, it's very disturbing, and so physicians have been recommending uh, that people take DHA, and it seemed like a logical thing to do to keep your levels topped up there. It doesn't seem to be any harm in doing so, and I certainly had been taking the DHA supplementation myself and recommending that others take it as well. Well, uh, this was the way it was till recently when uh, my friend Jeff Nelson over at VegSource uh, contacted me and said, you know, Doc, when you look at the studies in the scientific literature and discard those that have been planted there by the DHA supplement industry, and there's some really legitimate sounding ones, the DHA uh, supplementation prevents dementia and improves cognition. Those studies are in the literature and they look official and were some of the ones that I had been basing my recommendations on. But when I look closely at them on just recommendation, it turns out the two major premises that I have been acting on, one, that low DHA levels in vegans predispose them to dementia, and two, taking DHA supplementation will prevent dementia, there really are no solid scientific studies supporting those two premises. Well, that was disturbing to me, of course, uh, but yeah, I figured, yeah, it's benign stuff, and our body makes it, and uh, I'll just take it anyway, because it might help my skin oils, um, it has an anti-inflammatory effect, uh, and might even help my brain function, and might even prevent dementia. So, uh, because my diet uh, sometimes consists of a sandwich in an airport, and a dinner at an Indian restaurant, and my alpha linolenic uh, intake might be quite low. What's the harm in taking some DHA, especially when I'm traveling on the road? Well, the reality of that uh, showed up in some studies that uh, Jeff Nelson sent me regarding the researchers at the Fred Hutchinson Cancer Institute in Seattle, where they had been following a subset of men who seemed to be developing a very aggressive form of prostate cancer. And when they checked their levels of DHA in their blood and tissues, they were significantly elevated. And uh, they wondered, well, maybe because they are getting their DHA largely from fish, maybe it's from the PCBs in the fish or some contaminants. But when they did the analysis and they uh, ruled out the uh, contaminating factors, it turns out, no, the high DHA levels may make the cell membranes unstable in these men's prostate and, and predispose it to malignant transformation. We're not sure the effect of high DHA levels in women, but maybe they just haven't shown up yet. But the findings in the men were certainly enough to really make me reconsider my recommendations. 
So I've changed my thinking on taking supplemental DHA. I've stopped taking it myself. And I'm going to stop recommending that uh, people take the supplemental DHA themselves. Uh, now, what are we supposed to do about that? Uh, let your body make its own DHA, of course, from food. I'm a big advocate of a small handful of walnuts every day, uh, putting some ground flax seeds into your kale smoothie in the mornings or a tablespoon or two onto your oatmeal in the mornings. And let your body make its own DHA through the normal enzymatic steps rather than leapfrogging with preformed DHA right into the tissues, which uh, for a subset of men seems to have uh, a, an increased risk of uh, malignant change in their prostates. So this is an important development. We all evolve as science uh, gives us new information, new knowledge. And I'm going to not only post this video on my website, which I have, of course, if you're watching it, uh, but I've also posted these studies from the Hutchinson uh, Cancer Center disclosing the higher uh, risk of prostate cancer in a subset of men. Uh, and I'm going to uh, send this video up to uh, Derek Sinmet up in uh, Vancouver Island, uh, who interviewed me in August of 2019, and asked him to make this new information available to uh, his uh, listeners and viewers. And uh, of course, Jeff Nelson at VetStores is certainly welcome uh, to make this uh, information available to his viewers as well. So we grow, we change, and I wanted to share my growth and change with you. I'll ask your understanding and uh, let you know that I will keep following this story. If anything changes, I'll certainly let you know about it. Uh, but I wish you the best of health. I don't want anyone to be harmed or put in jeopardy by any uh, advice that I'm advocating. And uh, for that reason, uh, I am glad that you're on this journey with me and I'm on the journey with you. And together we'll uh, uh, make uh, for better health and a better world for all of us. So uh, Dr. Michael Clapper, I'll be talking to you soon.